it's how are we so it turns out a lot has been going on not in the change lag itself but also in the game we've gotten some new updates um some stuff's going down which is nice finally the stairs active again we have like 900 people and time recording right now so let's go take an update in the past like weeks update log okay boys so first we're off with polymorphic basically saying we're gonna be shelving phase one if you don't know what that is watch Batwings video or something. We're gonna be returning to the current live game and working on improving and what is there. So basically some quality of life stuff, fixing clerics and some other stuff. Brezza said a little while ago, new update, what's it come? The Serie development has officially hit the ground uh, running again. And while there's a simple number of things we're excited to share with you, we're gonna be start off with a simple quality of life update. Here's what's live. UI refresh, dark mode, main menu, teleport screen, warlock nerfs, bow crashing fixed, uh, berserker fixes, mobile swimming, lure variants, uh, camera fixes, health bars, updating pets. What I'm most interested is lure variants. Lures now spawn the current variant when used in areas. So is that basically saying we're getting like, variants again i need more fierce azos also if you noticed we got a little bit of ui change let's just take a look okay that's basically the same most of these are basically the same but it's mainly the inventory it looks a lot sharper i like it what's on the way level ceiling an experimental new feature which sets a lot a soft level and cap for an area all players who and equipment stats above that level are instead treated as if they're in this level ceiling okay tribute wars world updates uh, community, balancing, ocean content, which I'm excited for, and crafting and resources, that's gonna be an interesting one. Alright, this one f uh, from Polymorphic yesterday. We're coming at you with an update uh, centered entirely around bug fixes and quality of life improvements. As a reminder, we're hard working on a ton of new content, and this is one of the updates we're taking to better prepare for the release of the new content. If you need a refresher on what's coming, check out Berezo's post two messages above this one. So, fix Ranger Stance, fix Crash when interacting with a uh, strange stone tablet on Troop Rock Bottom. I didn't even know that one was broken, to be honest. Fix upgrades so items not ca uh, counted towards their sell price. Okay, okay. Uh, minus 50 in and 50 Vite perks now work pro uh, properly. I didn't know that was a thing either. I guess I need to pay more attention to stuff. Block chance and crit chance no longer cause long decimals to appear when viewing stats. So I don't know if they just completely fixed it, like, um, the items that had it before just don't have it anymore, but if it's not, those, um, items with the decimals are now gonna, you know, be incredibly rare, and I want one. Fix second soul bound, uh, fix second soul bound, drop prompt, uh, breaking additional prompts, fix cleric flare at heal breaking if you try to heal a player while also damaging an enemy with flare, fix monster loot in the XP lottery, not uh, properly accounting for healing done. Fix campfires occasionally breaking for the whole server. I didn't even know that was a thing. Best will now pick up mush coins even at when your inventory is full. I didn't know that was a problem, but yeah. See quality of life changes. Grounded now reduces jump height and movement instead of locking, uh, jumping, desecrate. Chain binding matches the current position of the mouse when the animation completes. Alright, that's pretty cool. If Blood Plague were to kill uh, its target on initial cast, it will spread the plague to nearby enemies. Wasn't documented last update. And adjustments adjusted dark pole setting uh, to better match its visual. Uh, Desecrate no longer has an absurd hitbox. Blood Plague no longer will reset. It's time left and it spreads. It wasn't documented the last update. So we got some pretty good stuff. Um, the dark mode changes have already gone into effect. If I just go to. I'm gonna go to Nilgarth. It's finally dark mode. It's been a year. My eyes are starting to heal. Uh, but that's not all. We've gotten some updates in testing realm too. Let's just get to a nice private area real quick. Small server. Okay, we're good. We just get onto the roof. Mysterio just it feels so much cleaner and sleeker. I love it. I don't know what it is. is was there a lighting change? I don't know. It just feels cleaner. Which I, I really like. Already the game doesn't feel like Roblox, but this just makes it 100 times better, you know? Okay, well, um, I was gonna get some Warlock gear, but look at this. I, this is so... Realm Crafting. What is this? We'll check that out in a second. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Yeah, that's the same, but... Whoa. We'll check that out in a second. Alright, so we're gonna first start off with, um, Blood Plague. 
Okay, so it's saying um, hitbox size reduced to match visual radius is now a static 10 studs away from the hitbox of the plague, roughly where the clouds fades and no longer scales with the rank up uh, duration of blood plague, no longer resets when it spreads to a new target, will in effect for only remaining duration, cooldown 10 to 15, um, and PvP damage mod 70%. This is on top of other uh, damage mods like Coliseum Blessing. Plague will now spread to nearby enemies of the initial blood plague damage kills the test. Uh, blood plague spread radius increased from 10 to 13. Blood plague is straight uh, straight up broken to its massive hitbox and its absurd damage in PvP, also lowering the ability its uh, permanently chain and spread, uh, which effectively gives the ability 100% uptime and making it the ability or and making missing the ability or not utilizing its spread mechanic properly way more punishing by increasing its cool time. So I don't know what any of that meant, but. Hopefully that means something. Let's see how far we, away we can do it. Uh, Brezza, are you broken? Oh, they uh, I forgot they added a new swim animation. I haven't seen it. Is this just a swimming upward? Um, maybe it's broken. You know, sometimes I credit myself. I was like, oh, I added, I was the one that suggested the new swim animation because in my past live streams, I've said it before and I've said it again. We need us with good swim animations. I'm just saying, Briss, I know you watch my streams. All right, well, let's see if we can edit from like this far away. All right, yeah, that, that works. I hope someone understand what the difference was. Uh, next is Desecrate. Radius 10 to 10.30 to 25. Cooldown 16 to 20. Duration is still 6, so downtime is 10 to 14 seconds. Power per second, uh, 7528 to 7525.5. Lifesteal 7.5% of uh, damage dealt during the duration. 7.5% of total damage dealt after the duration ends. PvP damage mod 70%. This is on top of other damage mods like Coliseum Blessing. They no longer blink or jump during Desecrate. The ability is presently way too much survival for a little risk and as a menace to pvp i still want to keep it relatively powerful but using it in an ineffective way should leave you vulnerable all right so desecrate okay this is the one no one likes right yeah I hope someone saw a difference, woo. Uh, Pillage Vitality. Improved responsiveness of constructing shots. Projectile speed of 100 to 150 to 150 of all ranks. Pillage Vitality has gotten a lot of feedback on not feeling as good as it once was used to, primarily due to a bug associated with how consecutive shots are fired. If it still feels bad to use, I'll look into changing other things. Okay, so, uh, Pillage Vitality. Oh, this is one I actually know and like. I haven't played Warlock um, since they like updated it, like, since they overhauled it. This is this is a good one. This is one I remember. Hopefully, someone can see a difference. Can I hit all three at once? No, that's a shame. Chain binding hitbox increased by 25%. Root status effect now stops all movement abilities. Projectile being fired now matches the wind up animation rather than instantly firing. Chain binding is hard to hit and uh, not rewarding to hit because it doesn't stop all movements like it should. This should uh, fix edge cases when you hit an assassin with a root, but they uh, shunt out of the way of the uh, rest of your abilities. I don't think I've ever done this. Does that, did that do anything? Does it like stun someone for the I've literally not played Warlock at all. I'm assuming that's what it does. Someone let me know in the comments. Who are you? How did I not notice any? Well we'll look into this later. I don't know what whatever. Uh Dark Pulse visual matches hitbox is better. Let's see, let's get some Dark Pulse going on. What's this team? Oh, it's this annoying one. 17,000 damage? None of the stuff is upgraded. Did it always do that? Bro, that's overpowered. Okay. Maybe I need to switch to Warlock, boys. Alright, so that's basically all the Warlock stuff. 
Um, so, uh, Bereza said this yesterday morning. Uh, testing some performance optimizations for the status effect manager and event batching. Also cleared up some potential memory leaks with all the perks. Looks like there are no issues so far, but please help us stress uh, the test. The update is expected to improve all server and performance, especially during boss fights. That's good. Also, uh, fix issues with swapping between bow and dagger. I didn't- I mean, I knew that was a problem, I just don't. I, I'm a warrior man, boys. Added a uh, descriptive error message uh, when falling in equipment items. Ludi, or which is one of the new um, like junior developers, kind of added new quality of life UI stuff. Apparently, it warns you when you're gonna drop your last weapon. I like that. Say, you know, you're a level 10 wandering around like Mush Town. You have some two swords, right, or whatever. Drop one, whatever. I don't care. Drop the other. Oh no. Uh-uh-uh, you can't do that unless you really, really want to, because that means you're basically stuck until someone gives you a handout or you have enough money to do it. Ludi, thank you, I love you. Marry me. And two tips on shop categories, swapping the order of the die confirmation buttons, fixed combat manager for getting about level seal, and ap applying the 10 times damage multiplier going the level seal. Uh, remove the level ceiling from testing room for now. Please try everything out. Okay, that's good. All right, so there's some new stuff in testing room. This is what I'm excited for. Um, this is Ludi saying, I have pushed some changes to testing room only with changes to how the crafting code works. Mainly an upgrade to alt code. Join us while we test to make sure that uh, nothing is somehow broken. Recipes, crafting different items. Testing realm, crafting you um, NPC with scrolls on top. Example, crafting NPC use a slash console in the Roblox chat. Something is somehow not working right. Uh, look for the word crafting. Okay. I have no idea how to craft or what I'm doing. But we're gonna find out together. Select item to craft. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh. What about this? Is this more? Some more. So we need some kind of crafting recipe. Let's go get that. Is it in test crafting? Two ancient scrolls to craft what? We can craft a mysterious orange hat. Okay, we're gonna go through all this. Okay, ancient skulls. Uh, let's craft. Okay, I don't think they have that one completed. Giant token recipe. Okay. Wait, so now you can craft these? What's the recipe? Hey, we're to the West and editing over here. Apparently, uh, my past self was doing the no brain challenge because I didn't realize this top one was actually the giant token one. It cost five ancient skulls to craft one giant token. I don't have five engine scrolls, so let me just craft some. Boom. It works. There we go. Continue watching the video. Here's all the recipes itself. But how do you- Okay, so- Mysterious orange. This is- Game changing. Whoa. Okay. So, I need to get those recipes, I need to craft all of those, and hopefully maybe that will- I'm not exactly sure. What are these two? Realm crafting. Alright, let's go over here. There's a lot. You can craft every single weapon- item in the game, it looks like. Oh, wait. Maybe they haven't finished everything. Start off with the basic stuff. Anything? This is admin crafting. Someone can let me know how to do this, that'd be great. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, so when you weren't, you couldn't craft. Can't craft, what was it? Great weapon attacks rules for some reason. Oh wait, okay, it's only if you double click. I didn't think I quite realized how many items there were in Vestaria. Look at all of this. I didn't even know that was a thing. You can craft a Snelly pin. I want to craft a sophisticated corgi pet. I'm gonna buy all of these crafting recipes and open them and hope it does something. So I already have these recipes, now does it change anything? Now it's only two. I'm so confused. 
What did that do? Like, it eliminated these, but it also eliminated the question mark ones. Don't go off on me on the comments. I've come to realize I'm an idiot. Okay. That's weird. This is gonna be an interesting update, but I'm hyped. Alright, but I think that's everything for today. Peace.